please give a warm welcome to Priyanka Sharma, representing the Open Tracing Project. Hi, everyone. As Michelle said, I'm Priyanka, and I work on the Open Tracing Project. A lot has happened for Open Tracing in the last year. It's become a member of CNCF, for one thing. Um, but I only have five minutes today, so I'm going to cut straight to the chase. Well, so Open Tracing just turned one a little before this conference. Last year, Ben Sigelman of Lightstep, Adrian Cole of Zipkin, and other folks who spent a lot of time thinking about distributed tracing came together and built a specification that can help companies, individual developers, get started with tracing much easier. So companies big and small have started relying on open tracing to pour data from their system into a tracing solution of their choice. It could be a vendor, or it could be something homegrown. Because of the vendor neutrality and portability of open tracing, this has been easy for them. Also, open source projects, some of your favorites probably, as well as vendors in the tracing landscape have joined in. So some of the big ones recently that I've seen are Spring for Java, gRPC. We also have a Ruby support now. And on the vendor side, many are offering integrations for uh, open tracing data models. So think of Zipkin, Instana, Red Hat, Hocular from Red Hat, etc. So you might wonder, why? Why are all these people coming together and getting on the open tracing bandwagon? It's only a year old, after all. It's very simple. <laughs> Distributed systems are killing engineers. Many have died. OK, I'm just kidding. They are killing engineers' productivity, though. In the past, in the monolithic architecture, you have full control and visibility of this one large monolith, and you can see exactly what's going on. If a problem happens, you can pinpoint directly to it, solve it, move on. However, as systems get more distributed, more fragmented, those, that visibility is gone. And suddenly, we're seeing mean time to resolution skyrocket, and things like root cause analysis really, really painful, let alone root cause analysis at 3 AM in the morning for the pager carrying warrior. So now you probably understand why I have this very intense graphic over here. It's almost killing people. But distributed tracing saves the day. So this technology has been out there for a while now, as exampled by uh, Dapper of Google, where a company has been able to utilize traces to understand what's happening in a very complex system. However, companies have not been able to take advantage of it because it's a high effort endeavor. And in the past, there was no standard that helped people know that all the effort they put into seeing the transactions go through multiple processes in the system all the way through, that whole system map, that picture, is going to be rewarded and if they will be able to course correct easily. Open tracing is that specification standard that helps people invest in tracing with low risk and support from open source. Let me show you how, but I need your help. Please pull out your mobile phones or any other mobile device that you have and go to donutsalon.com. And you will see here a ton of donuts that you can buy, hypothetically, unfortunately. And click on as many as you would like to buy. Please help me create a success disaster. Please take out your phones and click on as many donuts as you would like to buy. You'll see there's a lot of evading donut going on. So the response isn't as fast as it could be. Now, if I look at the architecture for this donuts as a service, I have, it's a bootstrapped project. So I have a web client, I have a server, and a mixer, fryer, topper. Luckily, I have made it with open tracing, though. Also, what I have done is used open tracing baggage tags to tag all types of donuts, so sprinkles, cinnamon, et cetera. So now let's see what has been going on. What I'm going to do is use Zipkin, a well-known vendor for distributed traces, and I'm going to find traces 
here, it might be a little hard to see, so I'm going to zoom in a bit. So you'll see, majority, the donut fryer seems to be taking a lot of time, 90%, 76 Clicking on this will give me more details, which might be a little hard to see, but suffice it to say, Fryer is gumming up the system. If I click on it, I get more details, but I'm not sure if you guys can see properly. Anyway, just to check Open Tracing's portability, I am going to go to another vendor, Lightstep in this case, and see, oh, what's happening here? There's a big success disaster. Thank you, guys. And so I will click on this trace. Here, what I can see, again, the same story. The fryer is taking up most of the time. There is more details here, and you can see that the cinnamon donut is gumming up things in the fryer. Now, as you saw, it's a lot of information here, so you might be like, what's going on? But TLDR is, look at this trace, you see the fryer took the most time, and you knew that in a second. Now, let's go back here. OK, so if you're excited about trying out tracing, seeing if it works for your system, unfortunately, I can't tell you anything more. We have only five minutes here, so, and I'm almost out. But what I can tell you is that we're hosting a distributed tracing salon on Thursday at 2 o'clock in room A08, where there'll be a Tracing 101 tutorial, where we'll go through an exercise. Then we'll go through your specific system and the problems you're trying to solve. And there'll be experts available to help you through the process. There'll be good mingling. People who are performance-minded, observability-minded will be there. But perhaps, most importantly, there will be real donuts. <laughs> so again, please come 2 o'clock Thursday for Distributed Tracing Salon, Room 808. Thank you. I'm Priyanka, and please be in touch.